The second series of the Auditor General report was tabled in Parliament today, June 16. Auditor General Tan Sri Ambrin Buang said, the federal statutory body has good planning, but in terms of implementation, 91.1% of the programs, activities and projects face issues such as inefficiency and non-compliance of regulations, among others. However, he maintained that leakages have been reduced up to 75%, compared with the first 2013 AG series tabled in April. A total of 230 suggestions were made by the report. Here are the highlights. Rural water supply projects in Sarawak that aimed at providing clean and treated water to rural communities. The AG found that preliminary studies were not carried out comprehensively by four out of 11 appointed consultants in the projects, resulting in unsatisfactory quality of works causing leakages at the reservoir water tank. Meanwhile, the report revealed that the Broadcasting Department under the Communication and Multimedia Ministry or Radio Television Malaysia RTM entered into 111.3 million ringgit worth of deals without formal contracts. Out of 426 TV programs meant for TVI, a new channel launched in 2011, 413 of them did not have a formal contract. In the federal territory of Labuan, the cost of upgrading works of the Pohon Batu to Pancur Hitam Road, a project under the 9th Malaysia Plan, increased 3.64 million ringgit while the road distance was shortened by 3.1 km. The report also revealed Railways Assets Corporation RAC, had overpaid a contractor for the servicing of its 38 electric multiple units, which in the end was not fully carried out. At least 50% of the daily servicing was not carried out for five months. RAC had already paid 99.94 million ringgit to the contractor. Federal Land Development Authority Felda, meanwhile, did not get the nod from their respective tender committees for 160 procurement projects from 2010 to 2012 worth 3.6 million ringgit. Under a new system introduced in 2012, the AG's report that used to be presented once a year is now divided into three parts and to be tabled in the Dewan Rakyat's three meetings to allow for greater public scrutiny.